Okay, so we're here with my friend Aaron from Danger Fox. Aaron? Andrew. Thank you for having me. We're going to check out how they build these phenomenal studio desks and uh, walk through maybe the start to finish, see like the different phases of how a desk comes together. Yeah. And then take a look at a brand new finished desk. Let's do it. All right, today we are in Waco, Texas. And the reason we are here is we're gonna go to the Danger Fox Studio Desk Factory where they build, assemble, and ship out all of their incredible studio furniture. I first came into contact with Danger Fox back in 2020 when I toured the Gray Box Epic Home Studio and they had the 24U Studio Desk in there. Put that video out. Aaron from Danger Fox, the owner of the company, actually reached out to me, asked me if I wanted a desk back then when my channel was very, very small. I was blown away. I was so excited. I thought it was the coolest studio desk in the entire world. I drove down there to pick it up and it was just, everything started from there. It was so beautiful. So if you wanna check those desks out, there's links to them down in the description. Give them a follow on Instagram, give them some love, some support. Thank you, Aaron, for letting us come down there, get an inside look. Like this video, subscribe. Also a big thank you to Sweet World for sponsoring this video this week. I want to mention a microphone I've actually had for a little bit and I just recently brought out and it is the Shure Beta 91 microphone. This microphone is really unique and sounds awesome on kick drums. It's actually a very affordable mic. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you're subscribed because I am doing a full documentation of how I'm tracking these drums. Thank you Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Let's go check out the Danger Fox factory tour. So from start to finish, our process um, order comes in. We get that order. We refer to orders not by numbers, but by names. So we're very personal with every order. And we want it to be that way because this industry is all about relationship, connection, it's people, that's what the music industry is. And so being in the music industry for a long time, it's all about relationship, right? So, so order comes in and then what happens is a work traveler comes out to the shop and Michael, He's our, he's our shop foreman. He takes care of a lot of stuff around here. Michael basically takes that. He schedules things out for the week. Here's what we're gonna get done that week. And so normally how it starts is our material, wood like this. So the black material here is what all of our racks are made out of. Racks, front shelves, um, things like that. Um, and this material starts this way and then gets cut down into parts. So the cool thing about this material, it's fully Baltic birch. So it is, it, you see black here, but they just paint it to seal it. So it's 13 ply Baltic birch, highest quality, there's nothing better than it. And then it has a, uh, like a hexagon finish on the top. Uh, and then it's all phenolic base. So it's got a really good durable uh, finish that um, will last a long time. So it starts off that way. Uh, and then uh, we turn around here and it'll go from here onto our CNC machine which will then cut out all the parts. It's a big robot. If anybody knows about CNC machining, it's pretty amazing, very difficult to learn, but once you get it, it can be a world of um, cool stuff. So it goes on to here, we cut out parts, work order comes in, and then we take that work order and we cut it out per desk. So okay. we'll cut out, if it's a 24U, which is what we do most of the time, mm -hmm. we sell a lot of 24Us. Uh, we'll, we'll do a whole 24U at once. The whole rack will get taken off and then we'll put on birch, and then birch will all get cut in one desk. We're in some transition right now with, we've got the new machinery in to help our lead time, as we all know, has been kind of crazy, yeah. uh, just with materials and supply, but uh, we've got some new machinery in to help us with that. So it comes off, if it's raw birch, it'll be sanded over here in parts. Um, all of that will be changing to be sanded in our new holy grail, this thing? The sander machine, which oh has God. stuff all over it because we're waiting on sandpaper to come in. What you'll do is it'll come off the, the CNC, and CNC machine, sorry, and it'll just go directly in that roller and it'll come out the other side perfect. Wow. I hope so, because I paid a lot of money for that machine. It needs to be perfect. <laughs> Dang, that's going to be cool. Yeah, so it's going to be pretty awesome once we get it up and running. And then, um, yeah, so then it'll kind of funnel. It all Everything kind of starts here and funnels into the shipping room. If okay. it's black product, it'll get put on a cart. 
and it'll most likely go to the left of the shop, which will then go to our edge bander and some black processing over there. If it's birch, it'll get sanded and put on a shelf where then they will pull full desks in, in batches and they'll stain them and top coat them and do that whole process. So it kind of goes into a funnel like that. So birch will then come off and be sanded. It'll be stacked over here in like, uh, in desks. So over here, this is somewhat of a desk here. This is a full desk. So they've been pulling from these all day long and they'll pull from here. We have extra parts just in case we, you know, monitor stand tops and bottoms and stuff, just in case something gets uh, damaged. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We can just pull, but normally what we're doing is we're just, we're making everything in sets and doing one at a time. So it kind of helps us get the process done faster. We've done in big batch sets and it just takes so much time. Yeah. So we're trying to, we're trying to work on our process and figure out what's the least amount of time this thing can be here yeah. and move to the other room as quickly as possible, but with the same great quality yeah. that we want. So, uh, so then it moves over, we can turn around here into our spray booth and basically all the parts for one desk will get laid out on these pyramids here. Uh, and then they'll come in and or turn the big fan on and they'll spray everything, stain it all and it'll go up on like a big rack like this. So we'll stain it, it'll go into the tent to dry and then when they pull it back out, it'll be like this and then they'll pull them off and. Uh, sand them down in between coats and then put them up. So this, everything here is one order. So this is a 24U. Yep, this is a 24U here. Uh, and then they'll spin the cart and there's another 24U there. So they'll take them off here and hand sand them in between coats. Now, when we get our new machine up and running, uh -huh. there will be no more hand sanding. And Sean will thank everybody for that. <laughs> for that. So then once they get it done here and it's all done top coated, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wait, so where you said this is this stain that's put on here to dry, is yes. that in there? Yeah, so we call this the Texas Tea Room. And the Texas Tea Room is just, it's just a clean room that we can put in here because we're running out of space. And so we needed somewhere for stuff to go. So we'll put it in here so that all the dust and stuff can stay out of it from floating in the air, from sanding and CNC machine. Hopefully in the next month or so, we're gonna wall this off and really create a whole room for this specific process. Yeah. These will wheel in and out of the, the Texas Tea Room and you know, it's four sided so you can put a lot of this stuff on This is a there. genius design. This like rack thing for yeah. multiple orders. Yeah, it was uh, actually Sean, Sean designed this and we had a couple iterations that we worked on and we needed, we were looking for something to, to do this where we can put a lot of material on it and it, and it not be so tall and we can, yeah wheel it around and stuff. So once it comes off of here, he'll uh, start assemblies. He'll assemble monitor stands and legs and he'll get everything prepped and ready to basically go into the shipping room. He does upholstery and assembly stuff. So this is kind of his old, his whole station here. So he'll do upholstery. So taking, taking the pieces like this, yep. turning them into this. That's right. And then the front shelf over there, you could see the, yep. the uh, upholstered like yeah. armrests. Yeah. So yeah, so upholstery. This is our new version two of our 24U bolsters. With a new version two, you can just slide these off and replace just this part instead of the entire front shelf. Yeah, that's great. So this is what's on every desk now. So it'll, it works a lot better. So when, when all the black stuff comes off the CNC machine, uh, it'll, this machine does one thing. It's so big, but it does one thing, but it does it really well. Yeah. And so you, you buy the, a big huge machine to do it very well yeah but it basically goes it takes it here's the the core the material and it puts like a finished edge on it so oh, nice. they call it edge banding yeah. so they'll edge band the, the the side of it so you it hides ah, the plies it makes yeah. it more of a finished look so once they clean all this up and get the you know the small glue lines off of it it'll be it'll like for it's like furniture yeah you know it looks clean like a solid piece. That's cool. So it just runs through this machine and gets banded and, and it moves on. So, so most of the black stuff will get put on the shelf and they'll, they'll kind of stack some things up and then they'll run just tons of pieces at a time. So they'll just keep running the bander. It won't be yeah, ones yeah, or twos. Yeah. We can do that, but it'll just be, they'll just throw multiple pieces through it. Oh, and it bands cool. pretty quickly and flip the piece and run it through again. So everything, like I said, it kind of funnels into that room. So most of the time, all the black parts come through this section yeah. and goes out into there. So nice. uh, here, and then it'll get cleaned where Elijah is over there um, is where we'll do all the part prep, quality control. We'll um, clean all the lines and the glue lines, get all that stuff off and just polish the, uh, the panel, check it for any defects, any kind of you know, weird stuff in the finish or yeah. whatever. So Elijah does that over there, but everything just funnels into that room. We're wall to wall. 
So we're yeah. we're pretty tight in here, but we're trying to make the best of our space really before we get our new building, which is going to be epic. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, you can come do Stay it. Stay tuned for the epic tour. <laughs> you you guys moved into into this building in 2020? Yep, April. That's when we met. Yep. And I came here. This was a totally different Completely different. Totally different situation then. More machines, bigger machines. Let's go over here. It comes into here and basically Elijah, this rack here is when he's he's done with parts. So if you saw the parts over there and then you look at these parts, they're all nice and clean and pretty and shiny and all that stuff. There you go. Elijah, well, those parts will come over here and then he'll just start. Elijah pretty much works in a lot of places though. So this week right now, he's working part prep and quality control and cleaning and so he'll clean up all the glue lines, clean up all the dust, get it ready to be basically be put on the shelf to go in a box. Yeah, once it gets through here, he'll put them on those carts and then they'll whittle it in here and put it up on the uh, on the shelf. Aaron, what is this? Oh. This looks so familiar. <laughs> yeah, look at this. I got a fender bag full of hardware. Oh, I thought I saw that fender bag in your studio. Yeah. yeah. So this is my Gen Genesis, I almost called it a Jennifer. Jennifer. Uh, Genesis too? 24U that I started with and I brought it back here because we're gonna give it away. Whoever wins, we're gonna, Aaron's gonna ship it directly to you. Yep. So that, we'll package it all up, make it look nice. I think it's a cool, cool opportunity for somebody to be able to just get one. So uh, this is where everything gets packaged, right? Obviously it is. on the shelf, ready for delivery. And as yep. you can see, boxes upon boxes upon boxes so when it comes in we'll, we set them up in, in desks what they'll then do is it's in the order of which it goes in the boxes so they'll just pull off and put it in boxes so as you can see he's in the middle of boxing right now we have tried so many different ways to do this we've we've brought in packaging experts they give us all these ideas and we're like yeah it's not gonna work and so we just keep going it all goes up here and then we just pull from these shelves so the guys just keep these shelves stocked and they keep these, uh, all the parts and they come in and say, hey, what do we need? And all that stuff. Over here is, so mostly 24U stuff is over here. Okay. And then over here is where we have like some Xylo stuff. And then all of the split bays, obviously because they're smaller parts, but there's a lot of them, where all of our split bay parts uh, sit over here and then they pull from these shelves. And uh, I wanted to mention that this is uh, very much, since I met you, a family company. We have the fam uh, a family cat running yep, around. Family cat. Shop cats. This is my wife, Rachel. Rachel. Hello. This uh, is my wife, Rachel, and she, I mean, she's my partner. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, also like the very last touch before it goes out. Yes, yeah. Um, okay, so then it comes up here to ship out and then... Yeah. So yes, yeah, so all the legs and stuff, uh, we kind of put those off a little bit so that it can't be bumped or nicked or a part hit it or accidents happen. So we normally will stack this shelf and we're running out of room. We need to get more shelving, so we all know that. But yeah, uh, yeah it all comes in here. And then here's the, here's the, we call these travelers, but here's the work order travelers that come with a desk. So this is Christopher O'Rourke. Man, we're almost there. If you're watching. You <laughs> probably coming. already have it by now or would have it by then. So yeah, so these basically follow the desk all the way through the whole process. And then, yeah, so it all comes into here, keeps it out of the way so it doesn't get nicked or bumped or scratched. Or, yeah. Yeah, so we'll pull them off of here. So this is like bolster paradise. You got bolster graveyard over there. Those are all test pieces that we've gone through. And we have like test parts. If we need to put a desk together real quick, we'll throw like a, a split bay or something together. And, uh, but yeah, got a couple of xylos back there for test parts. And oh yeah, the xylos. Yeah, got a couple of xylos there. That was actually the, that was like the first xylo I built. And then you got this section over here. Oh wait, what oh. is this? Whoa, this Whoa. is beautiful. <laughs> there you go, Guys. bro. Photography. Photography, marketing promo, whatever. marketing promo, photography. Yep. Show off all the goods. If I don't, if I don't start doing more photography, the shipping department's going to take over this space, and yeah. they're not going to have oh, any yeah. more photography. Yeah. <laughs> Which and, will probably happen anyways. So. And then here the, it is. Yeah, and this is if it, maybe it's in a video that's already out. Maybe this is the first time we're seeing it. Genesis split bay. What are you yeah. calling this? Yeah. Um, that's a great question. This is a split bay. 16 unit split bay we're, with a custom center section. Yeah, around the shop, we're just calling it the console split bay. Very excited. We're, we're going to take it all apart, but yeah. you guys get to see it before it's in the studio hey. like this. And uh, it is a work of beauty and I'm so proud to be able to take it home. Let us know what you guys think. There's a discount code, right? Andrew yep. Masters Andrew or something Masters, like yep. that. 
Uh, if you want to pick up a Danger Fox desk down in the description, a um, bunch of cool stuff on their Instagram website uh, and basically every video I've ever made, um, they are in there. So yeah. Andrew Masters, hundred bucks off. Hundred bucks off, promo code. Yep, free shipping. Oh, nice. In the US. In the US, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Free shipping in the US. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Never be the first rat like Andrew, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nice.